Casting directors are the gatekeepers of the industry, but getting seen by these very powerful people can be frustratingly difficult, especially for those of you who are working as freelance actors or who've just moved to a new city. So how do you get seen by casting directors? Let's start with the most important step. Before you start taking any crazy advice like tweeting at top casting directors, let's honestly think about how this industry works. Who do casting directors turn to when they are auditioning for a role? Agents. And to put it simply, if you don't have an agent, it's gonna be very difficult to get casting directors to reach out to you personally and to bring you in. So if I were you, my absolute focus would be on signing with the best possible acting agent. That one move will be more important than anything else I mention in this video. And generally speaking, the better agent that you're with, the more likely you'll be seen by top casting directors on a regular basis. We have tons of information on signing with great agents here on YouTube or on stagemilk.com. So moving on, let's assume you're able to sign with a great agent, or maybe you already have a decent agent. How do you build a solid relationship with them? Even if you are with the best agent in the country, you cannot rely on that factor alone for getting you more auditions. So here are a few things you can do to establish a great relationship with your agent and give yourself more chances of connecting with those top casting directors. First of all, make a plan. You should be going into your agency at least once every year to make a plan. Show initiative and put forward your goals about the kind of work you wanna get and the casting directors you need to connect with. Next, make sure you are supporting your agent by keeping your headshot, showreel and CV up to date. Give them as much ammunition as possible. One great tip is to send them regular self-tapes. This shows that you're proactive and it gives them new content to send through to casting directors. Finally, don't forget that there is an internal hierarchy within any agency and you need to stay at the forefront of your agent's minds. This means being responsive to emails and calls, doing well at auditions, not canceling too many auditions, and trying to create a little bit of internal hype. Creating your own work is one really great way to do this, but whatever you do, remember it's about developing and establishing a great relationship with your agent. If you don't have an agent, or you maybe only have a very low level agent, you may have to look at reaching out to casting directors directly. But how do you establish relationships with these elusive individuals? First up, just shoot them an email. Emailing casting directors is totally fine. Don't expect a response every time and don't expect to be best mates from one email, but you can definitely reach out and start a conversation. Always have a purpose to the email, such as introducing yourself, sharing a new showreel, or inviting them to a show. I wouldn't advise calling and I definitely wouldn't advise just dropping by the office. It can be a bold move, but usually it will just result in you chatting with an assistant and being told to go home or send an email anyway, and probably you'll have a panic attack while you're doing it at the same time. Outside of the very impersonal world of email, how can we connect with casting directors? You may occasionally see a casting director at an opening night or out and about, but going up to one of the most powerful people in the industry is unlikely to end well for you. You'll be nervous and they will probably just wanna move on and enjoy the event. These days, however, casting directors do a lot of classes and workshops. Paying to see a casting director is certainly a bit morally ambiguous and many do it just to make money. But if you have no agent and no relationships, it can be one way of getting in front of casting directors and potentially making a good impression. This pay to play method isn't something I often endorse, but I do know actors who have developed solid relationships from these kinds of situations. This doesn't mean you need to be best friends during the class, it just means they know your name and you get to show them your work and that is enough. In which case, make sure you're well prepared and make a good impression. Turning up to a masterclass late, being underprepared and delivering an average performance will do you more harm than good. If you finally get in to see a casting director, that's great. But what's even better is to be called in again and again. And for this to happen, we need to be nailing our auditions. This can sound terrifying, I know, but I wanted to mention it because it's very, very important. Whilst we're not striving for perfection, it's really important to give every audition your absolute all. Instead of trying to book the job, think about booking the room. Turn up on time, well prepared, and having some choices made on the work. 
Show that you're hard working, that you take your career and your audition seriously, and casting directors will be more inclined to bring you back in again and again. It's not easy to hear, but if you audition for a casting director and bomb, you are unlikely to be called back in. It's not like you only have one shot, but those first impressions really do matter. Remember their time is limited, so they want to audition actors who they can rely on and who they know will do a good job every single time. If you nail that first audition, and the second one, and the one after that, they'll keep calling you in time after time. Like many things, getting seen by casting directors can be a daunting, frustrating, and difficult process. It will take time and a decent amount of luck. So instead of losing sleep over your relationships or lack thereof with casting directors, put your effort into becoming as skilled as you can be. Always keep working on your toolkit, such as your headshots, self-tapes, or showreel. And if you don't have one, work towards signing with a great agency. From there, it's a team effort to get seen by these influential people in the industry. Remember, once you sign with a great agent, it will be largely their job to get you seen by those top tier casting directors. That's all from me, good luck, and as always, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more acting industry content, and I look forward to seeing you next time.